Jam. Low carb, low carb, low carb, low carb, no sugar, no sugar, low carb, no sugar, no low carb. Hey, carb family. Happy Friday. Um, old Pinky put up a video a little while ago, and I thought, well, then I'm pretty much just laid up here in the bed. Um, uh, might as well just go ahead and get that. Um, I, I did see as far as the fallback video that you all chose, and I will be getting that out later. Thank you all for the get well wishes. I appreciate each and every one of you. Boy, let me tell you, last night, now, I'm not 100%. You know, I'm still, I'm, I'm you know, my sinuses and everything are really draining, and I still, you know, a little bit in my chest. But I tell you what, last night, oh, my Lord. Ah. Uh, you want to talk about chills, I was freezing cold, like I was shaking, and I mean, I had a sweatshirt, I had my pajamas on, I had a sweatshirt on, I had my socks on, and I was rolled up in two comforters, not blankets, two comforters, and I was still cold, oh, and my head and everything, and I was just like, oh, Lord have mercy, put your hands on me, because I mean, I was just like, oh boy, this might not be good, you know, you get the chills and everything, and you know, that row, 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 row your boat test and everything, but Thank the Lord, um, I, I got, because uh, I, I was knocked out. I mean, I, I fell asleep, and I was knocked all the way out. I got a lot of sleep. I woke up this morning, and it was like, you know, I, it was like I couldn't get myself, you know, I couldn't wake up. And But now, as of now, the chills are gone. Uh, the body aches are gone. Um, I did have a little bit of a fever. The fever is gone. So the only thing that's left is um, I've been sneezing a lot. Uh, blow my nose, but it's not, you know, it's not too bad. Um, and like I said, I got a little bit, you know, I got a little bit in my chest. My chest doesn't hurt, but I've been taking Mucinex, and Mucinex always, always, uh, knock on wood, um, does help me. And I did take Tylenol, um, as far as for the body aches. So, not 100%, but, um, compared to, uh, last night, yeah, 100% from them, uh, from, at that point. So, um, I imagine at least, uh, another day in this bedroom, but after everyone left this morning, I did go to the kitchen, and I, I pulled out the crock pots, and, um, I, I threw an apple crisp together, put that on low, and I, I took a, ro I was gonna do the roast and everything today anyway, but I put all that together, and everything's been cooking, uh, since this morning, and, uh, that way the family will have a nice dinner, and, um, a dessert for tonight. So anyway, but I just wanted to update you all, and like I said, I appreciate you all for the get, uh, uh, for, uh, the get well wishes. So let's get into uh, Pinky's Slow Cooker Chicken Bacon Ranch. Mm, what I ate today, vlog. Uh, yeah, I gave my contribution. Uh, there's uh, your slow cooker contribution for today, Pinky. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday. Ooh, it's a big combine going by. Lots of harvesting going on around here. Mm. Well, Pinky, uh, the only thing you all harvested was um, those uh, miniature bowling ball uh, watermelons, uh, your pumpkins, and um, uh, your cherry tomatoes. Uh, that's the only harvest you got out of uh, the Amazon jungle. Here, let me tell you, these farmers are getting it. <clears throat> back are in, in our backpack. Well, not ours, but back in the back behind us with soybeans. And they harvested them the other night. They were out there. Last I heard, they were out there till 11, okay? And, uh... Our cars were covered with that so we bean dust and clean up on the front porch. It was um, I, I know she, I know it says soybean, but it doesn't sound like she's saying soybean. Our cars were covered with that so we bean dust. And hey, uh, what do you, what do you call, what are you saying, Pinkies? So, so a, so a bean, soybean girl, soy, S-O-Y, soy. And, and she's saying like a soya bean. Clean up on the front porch. It was covered with soa bean dust. I was like, what? Soa bean. That's what she's saying. Soa bean. And what the hell is soa bean? What what is soy or soybean dust? I, I I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not an expert on soybeans. Um, but um, uh, do soybean do soybeans? <laughs> is there a dust that comes off of soybeans? Good lord. A lot of people around here, around our area, we live. They plant soybeans for some reason. Rice and soybeans must be. Again, I'm not an expert on soybeans. Um, but yeah, Pinky, usually, um, there is a reason uh, why farmers plant anything, but listen, uh, yeah, I, I'm not 100%, uh, and, and I'm not about to give you an education on soybeans. Be up this year, or they're just in demand for soybeans, I don't know which it is, but you hardly see any cornfields. Anyways, I'm sitting here drinking <laughs> She's just, I, I don't know, she goes on and on stuff. Uh, who the hell cares about soybeans, Pinky? Uh, naturally, I mean, I guess, well, there's a lot of things you could talk about, but, um, yeah, you, you don't talk about, you talk about stupid shit. Some coffee. Just tested my sugar, it was 204. Um, last night, before I went to bed. Your sugar was 204. 
uh, last night before you went to bed, your sugar was 204. Didn't you say in yesterday's video that your sugar was 140? So if it's 204, um, that is more than 140. So um, that, that is, is uh, listen, I'm not an expert on diabetes. I don't have diabetes. So, I mean, I really don't know. But I would think, I mean, um, in the 200s would probably not be, that would be high, right? It was um, 160. So my numbers are getting a little better, okay? Um, well, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know, uh, Pinky, um, but here's the thing. Uh, people are really starting to question if you even have diabetes. I'm sure you've seen the comments. Um, yeah, and it, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, should sugar numbers be, um, should they be going like pretty much all over the place like that? So they were 204 before you went to bed, and, and, and I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing now you're saying they were 160, but yesterday it was 140. And when I looked it up, 140 was um, pretty normal, and I kind of find that hard to believe um, with you. My before, my sugars were still running in 300s. So I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, okay? Day three, no sugar. Actually, since... Um, day three, no sugar. Oh, girl, uh, that that uh, that pause. You look even more uh, even more clueless, um, if that's possible. But um, day three, yeah, yesterday's video, you, it was day three. So you're day three with absolutely no sugar whatsoever, no sugar whatsoever, Pinky. Uh huh. And again, I still find it hard to believe that now all of a sudden after um, it'll be two years in March that your doctor, he or she, whichever gender um, it is this month, um, that your doctor now has finally said to you that, hey, thank you need to uh, you need to cut out them carbies and the sugars. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Today we make day three. In the last three days, man, was just been... Yeah, you, you would think, um, but see, Pinky, you, you try to be slick. You try to, uh, you know, you garble your words a little bit extra um, to try to confuse people, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look here. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yesterday's video. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. What the... Well, that's a hell of a thumbnail. Um, day three on this new life change. Yeah, that was yesterday, Pinky. So, uh, you know, give or take. I mean, what the difference? Pretty darn good. Now that's two or four without my medicine. Then I just took my medicine. I'm having my coffee. It's morning time. Uh, we are going to Duncan's for dinner, and then I will go home. And make it's about nine thirty. Yeah, or so. So yeah, so that's not too bad. I didn't think, anyways. Um, not for what my sugar normally will be. So we'll let my medicine kick in, and we'll see too. But I've been doing really. You've been doing really what, Pinky? You've been doing really good. Now, have you been doing really good, um, as you claim, the last three days? Three, four days. Uh-uh. Uh, you know, tomato, tomato. Uh, don't make much difference, does it? Um, um, could one of the reasons that, uh, well, like I said, you claimed yesterday it was 140, and then it was, uh, what, what did you say it was, 204? Maybe it was that little trip um, that I just showed, uh, your trip to Duncan's uh, yesterday. Maybe that's what spiked it up. I don't know. I mean, I'm just taking a guess. Um... Have you been doing really good the last few days, Pinky? Or has it been, you've been doing, like, I don't know, like, really well for weeks now? I mean, because um, it's, sometimes it, it, you know, it helps if you are more clearer. Um, well, listen, let's take, a, let's take a little stroll down memory lane, uh, like, just in the past month, you know, uh, because I like to be clear um, when I'm giving information. So, uh, let's take a stroll down memory lane. Coke. Very good, say never know. <laughs> we'll share everything. It's a nice one, isn't it? There you go, small up in my feelings eating when I'm by myself. But with me, people like to eat with me. Some people do, some people don't. You don't like this part? I swear to Bird bite. Mm. And I got my pie, the cookies and cream one. Let's do a little mukbang. A mukbang is a large quality of food. Excellent, excellent. It's time to eat. Uh, now, Pink, uh, those clips that I just showed of, uh, you know, that was like in the past month, uh, five weeks. So, I mean, so you weren't doing really good back then, right? But the last three days you have been doing excellent. Excellent. Mm. Okay, girl. And uh, didn't you just eat, um, didn't you just eat uh, something similar to this uh, yesterday? I skipped breakfast, so I'm riding to lunch. <laughs>
Hey, and sorry, y'all. Uh, CC, you ain't sliding out on me. Uh, not this time. Three turkey, um, hot dogs with cheese in them, with a little bit of ketchup. And yes, I will never. Uh, get yeah, again, this is regular ketchup that has sugar in it. So you have not gone without sugar, because regular ketchup has sugar, and some of these sausages um will have sugar in them also. I don't know what kind they are. I guess they're the turkey kind, but um yeah, some of these sausages um will have sugar in them also and um that, girl that that's a lot of ketchup give up my ketchup my mayonnaise i'm just eating a little bit yeah well girl listen uh you would never go without your ketchup or your mayonnaise well girl girl you're not going without your um a white cake um your fall cakes your um fall candies um your fast food uh your dunkin donuts Donuts. I'm not talking about the coffee. I'm talking about the donuts because I know that you are eating those donuts. So, girl, I mean, what are you going to go without? Because um, from everything that I can see, you ain't really going without anything. It's finally, perfectly, perfectly a okay. No, oh, Cece, you're cute. No, it's not her dog that said it was okay. Um, she's saying her doctor says that it's perfectly a okay. Um, your doctor doesn't watch your um YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, your doctor doesn't see how you eat. Um, your doctor, after close to two years, has now finally said, Look, Binky, uh, you need to, you know, the sugar and the carbs and everything after almost two years. But I'm pretty sure every time you go in and you see that doctor, and he thinks to himself, Jesus, it's like 20, 30, 40 pounds this woman is packing on. He knows that, uh, you ain't giving up anything. Send him a coffee with you. I've been filming. Don't you guys about that. Anyways, this is what I'm going to have for lunch, and I'm going to make a nice, low carb, healthy dinner dope and which hopefully i should be able to show y'all hey guys i am getting dinner on i'm gonna do it in a slow cooker i'm gonna do some cracked chicken is what they call it so i want to uh spray the pan i got three big chicken breasts i'm gonna cut them down to look cook faster <laughs> with some olive oil oops i ain't an onion oh well that was... and i need bacon so i got it they one so, I'm going to cut this chicken in sideways, thinning it down some because it's a big chicken breast. And then, I'm going to throw some uh, cream of mushroom in it. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look, but I'm pretty sure that uh, cream of mushroom soup isn't... Um I don't think that, that that's low carb. It may not be. It probably isn't high in carbs, but I don't, I don't think cream of mushroom soup, you know, because they got to thicken it. Some powdered ranch cheese on top and some bacon and uh, i got some pepper this pepper so that's what i'm going to put in it i thought it'd be uh, nice to have a slow cook meal it's gonna start raining soon um i think they said around four o'clock or so so a couple of hours it's gonna be pouring rain the rest of the day so we'll do this and uh take it from there got all the chicken cut up and here now i'm gonna put the ranch in it's kind of like a chicken brick and ranch recipe huh Kinda. Kinda, sorta. I reckon. Ooh, that's a lot of ranch. I hope we like ranch. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it all around. <clears throat> I will. Oops, sorry. Kinda mix it. I think kinda cooks in that. It'll be okay. Okay, now I gotta get my bacon on. In the air fryer, because I don't have. Um. Oh, I missed one thing. Oh, let me get it out of the fridge. Okay, you guys, I'm getting my freaking bacon on now. Might well, help to plug it in, though, when I don't got the dishes done. I saved you guys the agony of me filming them and stuff like that. <laughs> well, you got that right. It is agony. Uh, but you did it yesterday, and you're you're making a habit out of it, you know. And, and I don't care what you say. Nobody wants to watch you or anybody else wash dishes. Put that down on the shelf. Of washing them. <laughs> I know some yens like it, though. Some of yens don't. Well, uh, point me in the direction of the yens who do like... Uh, to watch you wash dishes uh, because um, I, I got a contact number uh, for um, a doctor where they can get their damn heads examined. Okay. My bacon on. I went ahead and turned the uh, chicken on in the slow cooker. So. Which is fine because my bacon will definitely cook. So. We won't have to worry about it. As I, um, I looked up the recipe for the cracked chicken. This is pretty much how you make it, but to me, it's kind of like a pretty much a chicken bacon ranch recipe. 
Because I ain't really putting exactly what the correct chicken calls. So we're going to call it chicken bacon ranch. Well, Pink, you never follow directions. You never follow directions with um, with uh, anything your doctor says if it is, uh, in fact, you being the one who has diabetes. But, girl, you never follow directions uh, with anything. So um, there, that, there's no shock there. Yummy. <laughs> um, oh, I put one more thing in it. I'll have to show you guys. Let me put in. One more thing I put in was a uh, thing of cream cheese. So it's already 220, so we might have dinner late. But I got some uh, cheese left over already grated from uh, last night, so what did she say to? Okay, you guys. Now, okay, it's hot. I'm going to um, got the bacon done, so I'm going to chop it up and so put it in here. I'm just going to use a scissors to chop. Okay, let's chop, chop. Split it off. And let's just do this together. I'm going to start cooking the bacon in this book with y'all. And then I got to think, uh, I'll probably just cook it here, right? I think it would have. This smoker gets pretty, pretty hot. So I was going to crack chicken like I said, but now I changed it. It's chicken bacon ranch. <laughs> Yeah, and we just fast forward um, through that stuff there. Um, I, I, how many people, now, you know what I said in the beginning, um, this morning, I went and, and did my crock pots up, and, uh, you know, of course, I do, I, most things are done on low, unless I find a recipe where, you know, it may have you starting out um, at, a, at the high temperature, and then, you know, you, then you turn it down. But Pinky, who in the hell starts um, preparing um, a crock pot uh, dinner at 2.20 in the afternoon? Um... You know, because again, you cook everything to death. Everything has got to be done fast, super fast. We love chicken bacon ranch stuff. I wanted to do this one time and make me some low carb pizzas. I didn't want low carb pizzas, but I just need to get some cheese. We'll, probably, we'll do some shopping this weekend, so it's time to go back to Aldi's, my weekly Aldi's. Still got a few weeks before we get sand, so. We'll be doing a sand club. Because I don't do that once a month. Because there's a lot of bulk stuff. So, you know, it's a lot simpler. Right. I think uh, your Sam's uh, visits are a waste of time uh, for the, the few things that you go in there to buy. But um, I still hold true that you're going in there hitting up that bakery. You aren't showing it, but uh, we know you're hitting that bakery up, girl. All right. Last piece. That was much simpler. That was pretty easy. Don't know. Okay. Got that. Now put the cheese thing in the Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese in it too. I want to see if this is enough cheese. Um, now, I don't know because I've never had this recipe. I've never made, um, I, I, I've never made uh, probably anything like this. But uh, look here, the chicken is raw. Um, should the bacon and the cheese, not the cream cheese, but the bacon and the shredded cheese, should that be added now? I mean, shouldn't that be uh, like added, um, you know, like right after, like right after the chicken is done or, you know, before you, um, before you serve it? I mean, it kind of seems weird to put add cooked bacon in with raw chicken, uh, but that's just me. Grade the other one. Kind of looks like I'm going to have to grade the other one. Yep. So now you're going to add more cheese. Um, that seems like a whole lot. You got a block of cream cheese in there. Um, so, uh, what, well, you got to add another three pounds of, um, shredded cheese. Um, I, it, it sh slow cooker chicken bacon ranch. I mean, hell, at this point, it, 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 I th it should be, um, add cheesy to it, Pinky. Uh, that's the only thing I know. Add cheesy to the title. For sure. Okay, I'll we'll keep it to that on it. I ain't buckled it down yet. I latched it yet. Until, I, uh, yeah. Get all the cheese in it, and then we'll latch her down. Okay, guys, let's see. I figured I'd give you a little bit of cheese grade in action there. Miles away, huh? Some people love these parts, some people don't. Have you know? Again, who wants to watch someone grate cheese? I mean, what's the uh, grated cheese action, really, Pinky? See, this stuff like this, usually real vloggers on YouTube, you know, they, they pretty much do a fast forward. Uh, and nobody wants to, uh, nobody wants to see that. I mean, it's boring. It's non-tent. Uh, you, again, approve how you can't fill up a, what is this, 12 minutes? Sure it is. Uh, Pinky, um, how come, yeah, why don't you, um, you, you still haven't, uh, you still haven't talked about, you still haven't answered my question as far as, um, where, where's the outrage, um, you know, about the stuff with Haley and everything, you know, uh, her Facebook page and everything. Um, uh, no comment from you? I'm not so far, I'm not so far away. 
You gotta wash that middle grater right away. Because if the cheese sticks to it, huh, you ain't getting it off. No. No, you're not. The rest of the cheese I know. I don't know. That just seems like that just seems like a lot of cheese. Um, I I, I can understand the cream cheese, but I, I, I don't know that that cheddar cheese kind of just throws me off from cream of chicken, um, cream cheese, the chicken, the bacon. I mean, I, I don't know. Cheddar cheese to me doesn't seem like it would it, that it would go too well. But again, that's me. That's my opinion. Then we'll be good to go. Then it melts. It'd be all kinds of goodness. And I'm gonna make them some mashed potatoes, but I'm not eating. Them. I'm going to have me a side salad or just some cottage cheese. With oh, deja vu. Deja vu. Yeah, you're not going to eat any mashed potatoes. Uh-huh. Just a salad. Just a side salad or cottage cheese. Sure, Pinky. From the Tater Queen. <laughs> okay? This woman makes tater sandwiches. <laughs> she takes fried potatoes and puts them on bread and eats them. Everybody knows uh, Pinky likes potatoes. Well, excuse me. Pinky loves potatoes. Probably a side salad. Put you up a lot more. No taters for me. I don't eat taters. Nope. <laughs> you don't eat. You don't eat taters. Okay, Pinky. Since when? Like two days ago or something. Girl, there ain't no way. I don't care. You. I don't care. You can put your plate up there. You could show you with just a salad, girl. We can't see what what is is on that table. What's off to the side? What anything like that? So again. Uh, yeah. You don't eat taters. Uh, okay, girl. Yeah. Uh, you trying to be? You trying to be a comedian now? Here we go, you guys. So we'll leave this on for a few hours. Come back. I need both hands to do that because you gotta close them at the same time. And show you guys what it's like. As the dinner is done, look at that. It looks amazing, don't it? I got college cheese. They all the rest of them got potatoes. Again, Pinky, I can look at you. And anyone can look at you and the way you eat, especially with potatoes. Girl, you are the same person that will go and have mashed potatoes or potatoes, um, a macaroni and cheese, uh, have roll. Uh, so, girl, uh, spare yourself the embarrassment at this point. Because I don't eat potatoes. This was from yesterday. Remember that, Pinky? Now, look here. You see this big old hump of back fat that you got? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that looks so painful. Um Tell us again how you don't eat taters. Tell us again. Tell us again how um, uh, day three, right, of this uh, this new um, lifestyle change. Remember, you said it yourself. Um, you're addicted to sugar. Girl, there ain't no way. You're not giving up potatoes, sugar. You ain't giving up nothing, girl. Uh, it's just, yeah, you want to try to irk somebody. Try to, uh, you know, make somebody. Girl, you ain't making me mad. You give me something to laugh about. You're the one who has to walk around. Uh, you're the one who has to walk around uh, carrying this load on you, not me. So it, it has no effect on me. Uh, you just give us something to chuckle about because uh, you want to sit over there delirious like you're uh, like you're walking around uh, with a supermodel frame or something like that and continuing to lie, to troll, to clickbait. That's all on you, girl, not us. No surprise there, right, you guys? So there you have it. Go ginger and chillies. And it tastes delicious. Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've never made it. Um, pretty much anything that you make, Pinky, um, I probably never would try it because you just it just turns me off altogether. But um, I'm starting to get I'm starting to get nasally. It's like the more I've talked, the more you know. It's like my nose is uh, my nose is getting uh, stopped up. Plus the uh, amount of times I had to pause uh, the video to sneeze. You ever get to sneeze and especially when you know you, you have a cold night. Like you ever get to sneeze and it's like six, seven, ten of them bad boys will come and it's like Jesus, where's it coming from? So I'm I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna get this video taken care of. I will do the fallback video. Um. It, it, I want to get my get my sinuses and everything uh, back in order. And um, the one video that I was working on like a little over a week ago, um, I still want to get that up. And I'm still, I'm going to get that up either tomorrow or Sunday. I definitely want to do that. But hey, listen, l real quick. Let's take a look at this one. I, I didn't cover it because it was basically her doing those damn dishes and stuff. But it was Megan's birthday. And Pinky did the, the pasta, and they had that brownie pie or something. The, the, well, actually, it was only just a, it was just a few weeks ago. And then we're going to eat dinner. Dessert and probably go to Duncan's. Hey guys, we got the chicken alfredo all done and we're about to dig in. I'll move and lean. This is a lot. You guys know that noodle box said it was a serving of eight. But this looks good. Hopefully it turns out good. 
So I'm about to eat because I'm starving. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Pinky, you used Megan's birthday to basically, um, you know, you used the excuse, oh, let me go buy you something. But it was basically, again, all about you. Uh, you had that girl carting you out uh, so, you know, you could buy the tacky fall shit and everything. Uh, so uh, you could go to Dunkin's. Um, the brownie pie probably wasn't even her suggestion. Uh, you know, you probably saw it. You wanted it. And you were like, you know, oh, I figured you'd want uh, you'd want this, you know. Because, see, that's how people like you do. It's something that you want, but you're going to look at her and say, you know, well, I saw, th I saw this brownie pie, you know, and I, I figured you'd like it. Well, in her mind, she's going to be thinking, well, she is making, you know, uh, well, if you want to call that a dinner. Um, well, she is doing this and everything. And, again, Megan seems like she's a very nice girl. So, in her mind, you know, she's not going to say, well, I don't, you know, no, I didn't really want brownie pie. You know how young, w young women are impressionable. And, uh, sadly, even, uh, you know, with Pinky. So, um, but yeah, Pinky, uh, what a mess you are that you, um, you know, that you used that girl's birthday just so you could get carted around so you could get your Dunkin' Donuts, uh, in your coffee. Um, because no one is ever going to tell me any different that you're not scarfing those donuts down. Girl, the way that you eat and the way I have showed from the clips, and I could go on and on and on and on and on as far as the way that you eat, and then for you to get up here and talk about, you know, oh, day three of my life, uh, of my new life change. Mm -hmm. Sure, Pinky. Uh, give it a couple days. I, w I don't even give it a couple days, but give it a couple days, and um, yeah, uh, we'll see the same old thing. Girl, I, I can only hope that your viewers will wake up. And that they will just stop watching you. The majority of them have, you know. But, um, girl, how embarrassing. How embarrassing um, that you that you continue uh, to, to do the, the stuff that you do. No, that you're sitting over there um, hitting 450 pounds. And, uh, uh, girl, can be me. Can't relate. Can't relate. So, anyway, Karma family, um, I'm going to get off of here and um, get myself situated get these videos up for you. I love you, Karma family. Again, thank you all for the well wishes, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.